Hey guys, Freddie with Long Thumbs here. One of the things I want to talk about that I don't think I mentioned was that I started a new division and that's a great way to add revenue and that's what I want to talk about today. Some of the ways of adding revenue to your business are upselling services, which is like a guaranteed way of growth. Um, another good way is adding services and that's kind of what I did this year with house cleaning. The reason why I chose house cleaning this year was that I felt it was a natural add-on for us all that we could dispatch work, route the workers just like we do for mowing. So in my mind, it was very similar to mowing, even though it's a whole completely different thing. It requires different workers, different equipment. Um, you can't have the same staff working outdoors and indoors. So it, it's like a whole new thing. And I felt like we could do this. I felt up for the challenge. And so we went ahead and tried doing that. So about six months into 2019, that's when we decided to start with a game plan. I already had a house cleaner hired and she was helping me come up with prices and working on policies and basically getting all our documents and estimates ready. So we decided to launch the first week of 2020. We had everything ready, planned, we felt really good, so that was the day we were gonna start. So immediately, the first plan of action was to advertise to our client base. We have over a thousand clients in our database, and we knew that if we blasted that to them, that we would get a bunch of hits, and sure enough, we did. And so that got us going, and that was going great. We started off that first week of 2020 with two cleaners before we even had any jobs lined up and we booked them both that first week and we were off and running the only mistake that we kind of made was that we hired people that we trained in-house so we trained them here before we sent them out to their first house so they would they worked about 40 hours uh, alone with our cleaning manager at the time and and taught them everything so then we sent them to the houses. The only problem was they were still unsure of themselves. They weren't confident. Uh, where I think my mistake was I should have hired cleaners that knew exactly what they were doing, that had experience with references. That would have made a huge difference. So that was something that I realized uh, a little too late. But uh, nevertheless, we were busy. We were off and running. Uh, we ended up hiring two more. So we were up to four house cleaners. On that fourth hire, we did hire somebody with experience. And so that got us kind of thinking, since she knew a lot of the details on house cleaning, we decided to do quoting a little different at the time. So we were we started to quote houses as if we were quoting the gardens. We kind of look at it first and then we'd give them a price. Whereas it started getting a little too complicated, but we were just kind of going with the flow because we didn't know what we were doing. Uh, and it was working still. It's just a little too many factors at every job and it was just getting a little too complicated, hard to manage. Um, so that was kind of our downfall. Despite the chaos, everything was going really well and those that know me kind of know that I kind of like the chaos. So I kind of felt like everything was running pretty good until about March. And you know, things started to take a turn. You know why, COVID. That's why. So uh, we started getting a bunch of calls from customers saying, hey, I don't want you in my house this week. Uh, even some of the employees didn't know if they had COVID. So they were starting to get worried. They were worried about going into other people's houses. So we just said, you know what? Let's use this opportunity to shut it all down and reevaluate everything. Even though it was chaotic and I like the chaos, I know that it wasn't scalable because there were managers involved, there were workers involved, and we were still trying to get all this figured out. We needed to have a clearer, streamlined way. And so we decided, let's shut it down. This is a great opportunity. Customers aren't going to get upset if we just stop going to their house at this point because there were still a few customers that weren't telling us to cancel. They were expecting us there. So we just shut it down completely uh, because of COVID. So it was either like, we're gonna shut it down for good because of COVID, or we can restart and use this opportunity to start a house cleaning division 
in the midst of COVID. So that way, because we already knew there were sanitizing services that were needed. So we decided that we're just gonna start over, but we're gonna do it right. And that's when we brought Brooke in. Hi, my name is Brooke. I'm working with Lawn Thumbs and I am currently the house cleaning division manager. We are trying to build up because COVID has slowed down the business and we have a new way of pricing, a new way we are doing things. Bringing Brooke in was a really breath of fresh air because she had worked at other places and so she helped with pricing and policies and estimates and all that and she streamlined everything. So it was much easier to tell customers over the phone how much it would be, which I should have known better, but you know, again, I'm more geared towards chaos. So it was nice to have somebody who was like, no, this is how it needs to be. And that's what I needed. And that's why it's actually working out really well because she knows she's confident in what she's doing and she's able to train new hires with this same streamlined idea of going into a house with this, 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 and that kind of steps. And so it's been working out really great. So now that we've had a full year of house cleaning and the season's pretty much coming to an end now that it's winter time, normally this would be a good time to push house cleaning, but you know, we still want to kind of ease into it since it's still, we're still dealing with COVID, believe it or not, this late in the year. But going into next year, I want to have some new goals. And some of the goals that we're going to set are things like hiring. We want to hire experienced cleaners. And so I made a goal of every 20th house that we get on our schedule, we're going to hire a new experienced cleaner. So I'm going to be more focused on quality than I am on revenue this year, this upcoming season, because I really feel like that's the base of everything. If you get that really good, money will come, customers will come, but they need to see that we know what we're doing, that quality is really good. And so I wanna focus on that rather than make goals about how much revenue we're gonna make. But some of the other goals that I wanna do are I wanna have new cars for the house cleaners. Currently, they're kind of sharing the garden manager uh, estimate mobile if you will, or van. So I wanna have specific cars just for the house cleaners. Uh, I've already got like their own section in the shop where they keep their chemicals and cleaning supplies. Um, but I wanna, I wanna get them new cars. And um, I'm also gonna be marketing a little differently with them. So I've already put out ads on shopping carts at our local grocery store that's kind of in the middle of our service area. And we've actually gotten a few calls from that. And the calls that we've gotten from that have been for realtors who have multiple properties. So that actually can be really good too for us. But again, revenue is not my goal. The goal is quality and procedures. And we think that if we do that, money will come like it did with mowing and garden services. Again, it's all about building revenue to grow your business. I've done a bunch of upselling. I could probably write a book about that, but uh, tell me what you've done as far as building revenue and growing your business. Uh, maybe you've done something else and I'd like to hear from it. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, let me know what it is that you're doing, and I'll catch you on the next one.